how does your expensive dream car compare to the cheap alternative that you can actually afford? The car that embodies the same spirit, but is much more realistically priced. The question is, if you go cheap, will you be disappointed? We'll be putting a dream car up against its shady but affordable cousin. We'll do a drag race, a handling test and lap times to see if the automotive superhero really stacks up. You will all have a dream car, it will have popped to the forefront of your mind right now. For some of you, it might even be this. But let's be real, I'm an MG Rover man, a Mondeo man, I can't afford one of these. So what is the cheap alternative? Well, the way the director set this up, I imagine it's underneath this cover, it's slightly obvious. What's that Pokemon? Hi! <laughs> Jimmy, this is just a TT. Yeah, but... Audi sports car, Audi sports car, right? 80 grand, one grand. I mean, that is almost a supercar. This is, well, I wouldn't even call this a sports car. It's maybe a sporty car. Any, any sports car is a sports car in the right hands, mate. I mean, what I'd say for this, you can probably get a nice chunk of that R8 experience for a fraction of the cost. I think a set of tires on that is about the same as how much this thing costs to buy. Jimmy does have a point here. That TT may not keep up with the R8 in every respect, but that's not the question. What we want to know is if you get a taste of the big car for a hundredth of the price. Let's see if the TT can pudge above its weight. 540 versus maybe that thing still got 225. You know what? It's a day for surprises, Mike, you know? Uh, I've, I've got faith that, well, I'll at least get to the finish line. I've got faith in that. Three, two, one, go! Oh my god! That V10! <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. I forgot how powerful that 5.2 is. <laughs> well, I had a good start. I had him on the start, all right? I had him good on the start. You can't teach that. I'll give it to him. He got me off the line. There was a slight delay there from this car. I floored it, but it was like, oh, you want to go? And then, my God. I don't care what you say, Mike. I had you off the line. That's the important thing. That's what this drag race is all about, you know, it's reaction time, and I was there. How did my V10 sound all the way back there? Sound good? Oh, well done, Mike. You beat a 20-year-old car in your fancy V10 R8. Well, I'm really proud of you. It's a big achievement. All I'm going to say is 1-0. One nil for now, but I've got a, uh, I've got an idea. We're going to level the playing field. Let's go buy some chocolate. Ch chocolate? All right, well, um, see you at the canteen then. <laughs> we will be adding a third car to this face-off, which in my opinion, blows the socks off even the V10 car. And if you have a performance car or a future classic like this TT that you're thinking of selling, our channel partner Sell My Classic is the ideal way to get a cracking price from investors, collectors and specialist buyers competing in a one day auction to get you the best price for your car. The best part is it's completely free with the buyer paying a small fee for using the platform, meaning you receive 100% of the sale price. Have a look for yourself. The link is in the description below. And thanks to Sell My Classic for sponsoring today's video. Jimmy, what the hell is this? Well, our mutual friend, Mr. Ben Collins, yes. uh, has something called the Apple Test. He does. And, uh, okay, wait a minute. I, I, <laughs> given what? that I'm on the road so much and I'm always have a stock of 10 aeros in me at any time, we're going for the aero test. So we've lovingly set up a set of aeros in every apex here for the first sector. Sure. And we're going to see if you can hit them in this. Because if you can't hit them in the TT, you're not allowed to drive this, this R8. Okay, and in the apple test, when Jeremy couldn't hit it, he then had to eat it. That's why we chose chocolate. <laughs> You're gonna have a great time. Okay, TT first. TT first, get him. Ah, oh, for <laughs> So I've just noticed that the um, arrows are actually melting quite significantly now. Okay, little TT, let's see what you've got. I've been giving you some crap so far in this video. First apex. Let's get it in. That looked good. I think that's a miss. That looked good. This was tight. Get in there. Did I do it? I think I missed the last one. Diet ruined. Yep, that is thoroughly undisturbed, if not a bit melted. 
you're standing there as if I've, I've missed one. If we're scoring you out of, what is it, out of like five, you are 0.2 out of five. No. I, I thought I hit at least three. I was scared for this one. That was full on not kill vibes there. You've like, you've just nudged the end of that one. That's a hit. This I, one, definitely not. <laughs> that, that doesn't look good. But what were number one and two? Crew, uh, that was at the apexes of a hit one and two? Did he? What an ass. Hits then, okay. I'm three out of four. Uh, I reckon I cut this one too tight. I reckon you've placed that in the wrong place. This sounds Should like be an ear. classic driver excuses. I expect this from an RA driver, frankly. I, I want the instant <laughs> replay on that one. Was I too wide or was I too tight? Does that mean I need to eat one? It is quite nice, actually. Well, you can choose which one you want. You can have the one at T1 or the, the tiny little bit over there, which has been squidged. I'll, I'll take my punishment. I'll go T1. So, credit where credit is due, you have absolutely smashed this one into the curb. That. So, um, um I, yeah, well, I'll just... One apple teeth. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can actually see the, the profile of the tyre on this one. <laughs> oh, he's going for seconds. What a legend. <laughs> actually, it tastes all right. It, the mint hits you, and then it's like, wait a minute. What is that? What you guys can't see is the uh, circuit director up there looking down thinking, what the hell is... Going on down. Do you want some? Wait, I'm some. actually good. Right, get it in. Oh, it's sharp. It is sharp. Nailed that one. Miss. Get up on that one. Hit. The final knock hill curve. I think that was. I know he hit this one. He definitely hit this one. I think that one over there has been slightly cut. I think he's done better this time, actually. So the TT, we've proven, is a fantastic training tool for rich people in our eights. So, no. what I'm failing to understand is you hit this lovely last time, oh. but this time, completely again, undisturbed. Again, I think I was taking it. I was taking a center line. I was too tight. Well, okay. Well, I'm not sure how center fell about aero, but uh, mate, dessert. It's right here for you. Well, they are together, aren't they? You don't have to get down. Can, on I, can I have that time. bit, or does it have to be this bit? I think it has to be a bit of smudge into the tarmac. I think. I think that's the best bit there. The way I he's so eager this. to do this, I feel like this is something that happens in his private time as well, you know? <laughs> okay, but technically, a draw. The TT has come back a bit. I think maybe you've just, uh, you've just leveled up a little bit. The, the, the skill issue has resided, it's gone. Okay, well, Mr. Skill Issue, <laughs> it's time for you to step up. Mr. Nurburgring 24 Hours, <laughs> lap times. Let's see what you can do. I am not feeling confident in this one. <laughs> okay, 5.2 litre V10 versus 1.8 turbo. I think if he gets sub 55, he's done well. Jimbo, send it. Do you know what? People said they were ugly back in the day. Those Mark 1 TTs are good looking cars now. There's not the brakes. It's not going even. Come on, OTT. Runs out of puff a little bit at the top. This is going to be slow. Oh, yep, this one. Ooh, he's just done it. He's done a 54 6. Sub 55. Fair play. She's getting warm, boys. <laughs> this is well fun. I've seen people turn those 225 TTs into track cars. I gather working on them isn't amazing because it's quite tightly packaged, but I think they're pretty decent. Try and let it slide in a bit, try and rotate it. Power! I'm going 60 miles an hour, is that it? Ooh! A bit quicker that time. A 54-1. That's not bad. Towards the end, like I was just tapping the brake pedal going down the bottom, just trying to see if uh, it was going to slow down. The pedal was rock hard, which usually isn't a, 
a great sign, but it did slow down. We're still in one piece, and that wasn't a bad lap, I don't think. This car's well fun. Next up, it was the V10's turn. Send it, Jimbo. Oh, 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 oh. Got the curbs a little bit. Missed the arrows that Mike's put down from earlier. I don't think this is going to be a case of the difference between the two cars. It's how big a difference is it going to be? I guess for the V10 R8, we can compare it against our Evo, which did a 46.5, and Martin the Subaru, which did a 47 dead. Let's see what Jimmy's got. Oh, it's fast in a straight line. It does feel a bit fat in the corners. He's through pit path, that was smooth. First lap, it's quick. Mm. Not quite as quick as the Evo or the Subaru. What can he do lap two? So slow for this bit. Right, round the last corner. Let's see it. Very consistent. Woo! The Audi R8 V10 has done a 47.8. Same on both laps. So there's a little over six seconds separating the two around Landau, but considering the price difference, that's knocking on 15 grand a second. Perhaps there's a compromise then. Something sportier than the TT, but more attainable than the V10 R8. Jimmy, I may have lied to you. <laughs> not the first time. <laughs> the V10 isn't actually my dream car. It's not even my dream R8. This is my dream car. And when I say this, I don't just mean a V8 R8. I mean this V8 R8, because this is the one that Clarkson drove on top gear. Oh my word, so the still going. <laughs> yes. So Audi Heritage have held on to it, Audi UK Heritage have held on to it ever since that track test. And that was the first time I saw the Audi R8 and it was up against Hammond in a 911 and I just fell in love with this car, mostly because of this. It makes a difference, you know, driving the, um the V10 around, it's great and all, but there's just so much loss from just not having a manual transmission. You feel like you're a bit more disconnected, but despite the fact that you are currently breaking my neck with these shifts, it's, it's so much cooler. <laughs> like, it sounds so good. So my point with the V10 versus this, the V10 is amazing, but I don't think in the world of V10s, it's actually one of the best. I think it's actually one of the most, it's, it seems ridiculous to say, but one of the most disappointing V10s. Well, this V8, I mean, well, we're coming onto the back straight soon. Let me rev this puppy out. Seven and a half thousand from a V8. I mean, the Americans have only just got there now. For me, the fact that this is literally the car with the number plate that I just freaked out as a kid. And there'll be a bunch of our audience that will know exactly what track test that is and will recognize this car. And looks wise, I don't, I mean, it's subjective. I think this is a much better looking car than that V10. You were saying this earlier and looking at both of them, um, this has a bit more character, doesn't it? So tell me. You have the keys to all three sitting, and be truthful, which one are you taking home? TT, V10, V8. It would probably be the V8, I think, out of the three. Then, then the TT. I, I, wow, I okay. Like, I like the TT, it's fun to throw around with the, uh, the modern supercars. They're, they're a ton of fun and they're great for embarrassing someone driving down the motorway slightly slower than you are, but around a circuit, having a car move around, feeling the weight transfer, yeah. and then working with it is far more rewarding than something I think that is stiffly sprung and has to be driven one way. That's my opinion anyway. Okay, so you think if someone watching this video is after mm. a fun car that you'd maybe take on track here and there, do some mods to, the TT's actually all right. Yeah, I'd say get some new suspension, get some new brakes, and you're gonna have an amazing time. It's, it's a, actually a surprisingly good platform. Okay, all good. Well, I think it's it's fair to say which car I would be taking home. 
to finish things off, drag race. Drag race. Audi UK, if you're listening to this, I want to buy this car. I'll do whatever it takes. I need this car, not just an R8 V8 in this color, this one. If you're watching this, I want you to go and message Audi UK on Instagram. Get them to sell me this car. I need it. The Clarkson R8.